Hi everyone, this is Warren from the Rhapsody Piano Studio. I want to sincerely thank you for joining me for today's free live piano lesson. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play the uh, Faber Studio Collection. Um, and this is from the Faber Studio Collection series. Uh, one second, let me do a quick mic check. One second. Okay, so just want to explain this really quick. Faber Studio Collection, um, it's just a bunch of different books with different genres at all levels. Now this specific book, which is actually called the Studio Collection book, it has a little bit of you know, a, a lot of different genres. So if you want a book with a lot of, you know, variety of music, they have classical, you know, um, you, you'll hear it in today's book, you know, like rock, but they, they really mix it up with as many genres as possible. So if you want something with more variety, this is a good choice for you. Also, this is for the late beginner. If I tell you the title, it's, it's literally called Favorite Studio Collection. This is Playtime Level, which is level one, which I consider late beginner. All right. Now, if you want to pick up the sheet music and also use the tutorials for every single one of these songs after this lesson is over, you can hit up the cards after the live stream is over. And it's also in the video description below. All right. So let's say at this level, late beginner, you don't necessarily, you're definitely not gonna be fluent at you know, reading the notes, like reading the note letters, but you should be getting better, uh, but still practicing you know, the, the reading and all that at the same time. So make sure you hit up the description if uh, reading notes is a problem for you because I've included some note reading materials and also you can make sure to check out what, uh, my live stream on how to read and play sheet music if that's something you're interested in getting better at, all right? Okay, now, before we get started today, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button, bell, gear, icon, whatever it is. Make sure you catch each one of these private, or not private, uh, free piano lessons as they come out. And also, if you want to watch my daily piano tutorials as well. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to give you the game plan on how we're going to play through this material today and how to practice it. So for every song that we go through, I'm going to tell you the letters that are involved because what you're gonna do is once you get the music, you're gonna go back and above each one of the notes, the letters, you're gonna write the number of the fingers, okay? If you don't know what the finger numbers are, let me give you a basic primer. One is the thumb, two is the next finger, the pointer finger, three, four is the ring finger, and five is the pinky, okay? So this is better for you, okay. So uh, this, this should kind of be common knowledge for you if you're doing this book, all right? So you're gonna go back and you're going to write the numbers. Do not skip the step. Write the numbers of every single note in this entire book if you can, all right? Oh, I'm gonna give you that information before we start every song, by the way, okay? Uh, now, after you have written that down, the way I'm gonna be practicing today, we're gonna do little parts at a time, little chunks and I'm gonna play each little section three times because the first time you're going to practice and just focus on the number. The second time you're gonna practice and try to uh, say the letter out loud at the same time. Then the third time you're gonna try to play it with me at the same time. If you get to that third try and it's still kind of uh, a problem for you, you can either just you know continue on or you can practice it some more until that gets a little bit easier, all right? So the whole point is, you know, you're, you're, you're good at this level if you can get to the point where you're playing with me and you don't really have to think about the numbers and the letters, basically automatic. And then at that point, you can go on to the next level. Okay, all right. So what, let's see, is that about it? Yeah, I think that covers it for the, the basic game plan for today. So we're gonna get started. First song is Safe and Sound. Now, I'm actually gonna give you a recommendation. You do not have to practice this in order because I think the first song, for some reason, this, this song, Safe and Sound, it, it, it's pretty difficult. You know, I would have placed this at the end of the book, actually. So you can skip this and then you can come back to it later. But, you know, I'm just going to go in order for now. All right. Let me play the whole song for you one more time from the beginning.
All right, so let me give you the, the numbers that are gonna go with the letters. Hope you have your pen, uh, or not pen, use a pencil. <laughs> Hope you have the music and the pencil ready. Okay, so you play middle C, and I'm gonna show you the notes too. Middle C, you're gonna be one on middle C, and so anytime you, you play middle C, that's gonna be one, two is gonna be on D, three is gonna be on E. Uh, and yeah, okay, well, I'll just give you all of them. And then four is on F, I don't even know if you, yeah, you do play F here, all right. Four on F, five on G. So literally go back, find every single one of those letters and write the appropriate numbers on them. All right, now here in the left hand, we're gonna have one on, I don't think you play G, I think you, okay, anyway. All right, one on A, and three on F. All right, I'm kind of skipping these. All right, one, two, three, here we go. One on A, two on G, three on F. So go back and Write all those in. Now, there's some movement in this song, so I'm looking at the third measure. The third measure, you're actually gonna move your hand. And you're gonna play these keys, all right? So when you get to those, you can label them five, one, so five on C, one on G. And then it moves back. And that, that's basically it. So go back and number all those. All right, here we go. We're gonna go from the beginning, and I'm gonna go to measure five. So first time, you're gonna play, and you just concentrate on the numbers, okay? Here we go, ready, and... Okay, one other thing I did, forgot to add here. In the third measure, you're gonna move your left hand, one key to the left, and measure five, you move it back. So one way to practice that is just this, okay? Actually, here's, here's a good way to practice it. So you're gonna play the first notes right here, and then the next, you're just gonna block them together, play both at the same time, and then measure five, that. So just do this until the movement gets more easier, gets more natural, okay? All right, so let me, let me start that over. First time, just focus on playing and look at the numbers, right? Okay, second time, you're gonna do it again, practicing the letters. Ready, go. Okay, now see if you can try it together. Ready, go. Okay, now the next section, we're gonna go from measures five to measure nine. Right on measure five, ready, go. Sorry, ready, go. All right, letters, ready, go. Now the letters, um, I don't, you know, I don't think you have to actually say them out loud, but be aware of the letters that you are playing, because I might, be, I might be going a little too fast for you to do that. All right, okay, play it together. Ready, go. Okay, and I would actually say uh, you you can re you can practice reading the notes and the letters at the same time as you're practicing this music. But what might be better is if you treat it as a different exercise. So. If you check out the uh, note reading materials, you know, after live stream, or if you want to check it right now, uh, they have a little keyboard chart and flashcards, so you can literally practice uh, this on your own, so you don't have to do it at the same time you're, you're playing the music, okay? All right, anyway, let's keep going. Measure your, uh, we're gonna put that together from the beginning to measure nine. Ready, go. Okay, letters, ready, go. together. Ready, go. Alright, now 
the next part, you can basically skip measures 19 all the way to 16 because it's exactly the same as the beginning. So we're just gonna go from 17 to the end. Now 17 to the end, I'm also going to skip that repeat just to save time. Okay, here we go. So there's a repeat uh, there if you want to take it, if it sounds too weird without it. Okay, let's do uh, numbers. Ready, go. Alright, let's go letters. Ready, go. Try it together. Ready, go. Okay, so these are the basic guidelines I gave you for practicing this one. Uh, and then I'm gonna play the whole thing for you from the beginning. And it's a good test. If you can play it with me from beginning to, to end, then you, you, know, you know, you've got it down. If not, then keep practicing those small sections until it gets together. And you, you do this with every song, every piece in this book, okay? All right, let me play for you from the beginning at regular tempo. Next song is Let's Go Fly Kite. Uh, here is the beginning position. Hands like so, okay. So it's gonna be on, let me double check here. That looks about right, okay. So one, the right hand, one is on D. And I'm gonna give you all, you know, 10 fingers. That doesn't mean you're gonna use all 10 fingers in the song, okay. So one on D, two on E, three on F, four on G, five on A. So go, okay, here's the left hand. One on C, two on B flat, three on A, four on G, five on F. So go back to the music with your pencil, label all of those notes with the numbers, okay? Now, I wanna take a quick look at measure 13 because we have something a little bit different. So that's what's going on there. So the, the position is going to kind of change. So a measure 13, left hand plays three on A, two on B flat, one on B, slash B natural, and then you're gonna cross your second finger over to C. That's the only tricky part, basically, all right? And then you're gonna move your hand back. So let me show you one more time. You cross over, so two is on C, kind of moves your hand one key to the right, you gotta move it back, okay? So that's what's going on there. Let me play the whole song for you. tricky part I can think of is the last uh, few measures. So left hand you're playing two notes at the same time. Late beginning, late beginner, if you're a late beginner, this, this still might be hard for you doing like more than one note at the same time. It, it does take practice, even something as simple as that. And I know this because I see it firsthand when I'm teaching students. So if you're struggling with that, just give it time. Eventually down the road you'll be able to do it, okay? All right, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so I went all the way to measure nine, but if that's too much, you can split that up to measure five. I'm gonna be doing longer sections now, so we can save some time in this lesson. If these sections are a little bit too long for you, make sure you go back and you can split it up a little bit more, okay? All right, let's try the numbers. Ready, go. All right, letters, ready, go.
together. Ready, go. All right, moving on for measure nine. Ready, go. Letters, ready, go. Together, ready, go. Okay, and then uh, actually I would suggest putting together all the way from the beginning to measure uh, 17. You can put all that together going through numbers, letters, and then, you know, playing it. All right, but I'm going to skip. We're going to keep going. Measure 17. Uh, it's kind of the same as the beginning, but, you know, it's not exactly the same, so let's, let's just play it. So this is measure 17 to 25. We'll go numbers, ready. Go. Letters, ready, go. Together, ready, go. All right, here's 25 to the end. Okay, numbers, ready, go. Letters, ready, go. Let's try it together, ready, go. Okay, and then you can practice from 17 to the end, putting that whole section together. All right, let me play the whole thing for you from the beginning, then we're gonna move on to the next song. Taking a sip real quick. <laughs> Sipping off camera. All right. Man, by the way, it's a really beautiful day outside. Sometimes I wish I could teach piano lessons outside. That'd be something else. All right. Uh, Rock and Robin. I'm um, just going to. There's a repeat here. It's going to skip it though. Okay. All right. Here it is from the beginning. <laughs> Going back to the beginning, all right, so let's see, right hand, there's no movement, so that's a good thing. All right, one on C, two on D, three on E flat, four on F, five on G, so go back, label all of those notes. Now, left hand, you're moving from this position to this position, okay? So in the beginning, what are the notes we're playing? Uh, let's see here, okay. So we're not using B in this position, so we're two on A, three on G, four on F, Five on E, I don't even think you play that much, okay? Now, if you go to measure 13, you're gonna move your left hand. You, don't, you don't, actually don't have to move your entire left hand if you, you know, if you, actually, here's one other thing to point out. Measure 10, we have two on A flat. Let's so make sure you, you catch that right. Uh, when you get, to, or, I'll go over that in a minute. Then measure 13, you're gonna uh, change your, or move your second finger to B flat. 
and then you're gonna stay in this position. So in the beginning, you're like this. Then measure 13, you move your second finger to B flat and you stay here for the rest of the song, okay? From here, two on B, uh, B flat, and then measure 14, we have three on, three on A flat, five on F, and those are all the numbers that you need to uh, write down, okay? All right, let's take it from the beginning. Let's go all the way to measure five. Okay, let's do the numbers. Ready, go. Ready. And literally, when you're doing the numbers and the letters, it's, it's not necessarily, again, uh, I said say them out loud, but you don't have to. It's, it's more of an awareness thing, okay? Letters. Ready. Go. All right. Together. Ready. Go. Together, ready, go. All right, we're gonna skip the next section because it's exactly the same. So we're just gonna take it from the pickup to measure nine. Yeah, so if you don't know what a pickup is, it's basically the last group of notes before the beginning of the measure you're at. So I'm looking at measure nine. We're gonna go back and play from measure eight, the last two notes there, that. So that's what we call a pickup, okay? So I'm taking it from there. I'm gonna play from here. Okay, so that movement there, and then the A flat, I hope you caught that. First time, no A flat, the second time, A flat. Now, some tips here. When you play black keys, most of the students, they try to play it from this location. Just move, move your hand up. You have so much room here. It's kind of funny how we just restrict ourselves and just use that. So just move your hand up. And when it, a general rule of thumb is rule of thumb is when you're playing the black keys, keep your knuckles somewhat straight. It's like you're punching the piano. Like I literally punched it. Okay, so keep it straight. If you're at an angle like this, like that, no bueno. It's like really bad uh, posture and technique. Okay. All right, let's do that again. Numbers ready. Go. Okay, now with the letters, ready, go. Okay, let's do it together, ready, go. Okay, to the end. Yeah, and again, I'm skipping that repeat. All right, numbers, ready, go. Letters, ready, go. Okay, together, ready, go. All right, that's the whole thing. Now I'm gonna play it one more time for you, all the way from the beginning. Moving on, uh, the trout. So the next piece is called the trout. Cool, right? Because now we're doing some classical music. Before was, uh, what, the first song was Safe and Sound, right? Um, pop band, I forgot the name of them, but you know what song I'm talking about. Second one was Let's Go Fly a Kite. It's a Disney song, right? Now we're doing some classical, or uh, actually we had Rock and Robin, which is rock and roll. Now we're doing some classical music. Pretty cool, right? All right, let me play this for you from the beginning. The trout. <laughs> Thank you. 
back to the beginning. All right, let's see where to stop. Uh, I'll stop at measure five. Ready? Uh, I'll just play for you one time. All right, I forgot to give you the numbers. Ha! Huh. All right, good thing about this piece is once you're in this position, we call it middle C position because our thumbs share middle C. All right, don't put both thumbs on middle C at the same time, by the way. Uh, so you're in this position. Good thing about this is you're not going to be moving anywhere. Okay, all right, so we have left hand here. Let's do that first. Every F, every G, A, B, and C, go back and label it. So five on F, four on G, three on A, two on B, one on C. Same thing with the right hand, one on C, two on D, three on E, four on F, five on G. So go and label all of those. All right, now here we go from the beginning. Measure five. Let's go numbers. Ready? Go. Letters. Ready? Go. Together. Ready? Go. Measure five, pick up to measure five, and we're gonna stop measure nine. All right, now I'm gonna say measure seven, that's gonna be a place you probably want to practice a lot. Because it's getting in a rhythm, getting in a rhythm, but also the combinations of notes. Kind of doing those at the same time is, is a bit difficult. So I, you know, based on my experience with a lot of students, they need to practice that part a lot. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do that again. Now we're gonna do uh, letters. Ready? And uh, numbers. Numbers first. Ready? Go. All right. Letters. Ready? Go. Together, ready, go. Okay, and then you would go back, put that together all the way from the beginning to measure nine. Now, if you look at the next part, measure nine all the way to, uh, I think, 17, we skipped a section because it's exactly the same. All right, so let me play for measure 17, pick up. Stop that measure 21. Okay. All right, let's go back. Do the, the let, uh, numbers. Ready? Go. Okay, letters. Ready? Go. Together. Ready? Go. Last part, 21 to the end. Whoops, okay. Uh, so 21 to the end, I actually, I just go from 21 to 24. Why you ask? Because here's the next part. Exactly the same, so you can skip that. So you can literally practice just 21, 25, or from 25 to the end. All right, let's do that together uh, with the numbers. Ready? Go. Okay, numbers or letters, ready, go. Let's try it together, ready, go. By the way, I'm playing a lot of staccatos and dynamics and stuff like that too. Don't worry about too much. I think at this level, this is, this is a late beginner. I do consider a late beginner and the level you're at, I think this is just way too much detail to be, you know, for, for a late beginner to, to really be worrying about, you know? So 
just focus on the really basics at this point. I mean, they give you all this, this detail. It's just, it's just not like a good approach. So I wouldn't worry about getting like all this detail and the dynamics and all that stuff uh, until you get to about level, like level 2B, level 3, all right? So just focus on notes and uh, rhythm. Okay, so then you go back and do 17 to the end, all right? I'm gonna skip that. Okay, so go back and do that same process. Let me play the whole song for you from the beginning, whole piece for you from the beginning, and we're gonna move on. <laughs> classical piece elephant from the carnival of animals this is a really awesome um, awesome uh, composition right here the carnival of the animals if you have time after uh, I would highly suggest you look up the carnival of the animals because each one of these movements within the piece it's like a big orchestral piece like each each movement represents a different animal it's really cool and they also have uh, uh, arrangements for solo piano and you know do duo, duo piano two pianos all right uh, elephant the elephant now what's cool about this is when once you kind of master it when you get really good at playing it uh, the instructions say to go as low to the lowest part of the piano so you actually play it from here because in the orchestra piece uh, the the bass that that's they're the ones playing this so it sounds really low, so you want to play it low, it makes it sound more like an elephant, not up here. Okay, but anyway, here we go, I'm gonna play the whole thing for you from the beginning. I'm, uh, you're gonna play this one slow, but I'm gonna play it kind of fast right now to save some time. for each one of these letters. Here's kind of the starting position, all right? So it's gonna be five on F in the left hand, four on G, three on A, two on B flat, one on C. Uh, so you might use all those, you might not, okay? Right hand, one on C, two on D, three on E, four on F, five on G. And if you look at measure 13, guess what? You're gonna move your right hand one key to the right. So it's gonna be A, G, F, E, D. So number those if you want. And then you move it back at measure, what measure is that? 16. That's the only movement we're gonna have in this, in this piece, okay? All right, from the beginning. This is like the real speed. And went to measure five. All right, numbers, ready, go. Letters, ready, go. Together, ready, go. All right, measure five to nine. So glad to have you here. All right, uh, let's do it together. Ready, go. All right, now you go back and put that together from the beginning to measure nine. I'll just, I'm not gonna practice it that way, but I'll just show you what it sounds like. All right, so 
that's it. Now measure nine, you're gonna skip to measure the measure thirteen, and you're gonna actually take the pickup to measure thirteen. That's the last note in measure twelve, the B flat, because everything else is the same up until that. So we're gonna go pick up to measure thirteen, all the way to the next page, measure seventeen. All right. So remember, measure 13, you move to the right, one key, and then you move it right back. All right, let's do, and we're gonna just stay here in this position. Let's do the numbers, ready, go. All right, now letters, ready, go. Together, ready, go. All right, moving on. Uh, now, that little bit that I play for you, it's the same. So you, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. You can skip that part because um, it's a repetition from twenty one. But you know, it, it, it's just, it's, it's not that much, so I'm, I might as well just play the whole section. So we're gonna do 17 to 25. Okay, so some of that's pretty similar. All right, let's do the numbers, ready, go. Go back and do the letters, unless I already did that. Let's do it again. If I can't, just totally forgot. Ready, go. Thanks. This one is called, and in case you missed it, the elephant from the Carnival of Animals. I highly suggest you look it up on YouTube after the live stream is over. Really awesome piece. All right, let's try it together. Ready, go. Okay, so moving on from 25 to the end. We're gonna skip actually because it's all the same except for the last two measures. So just the last two measures. Thank you, Gwendolyn. Thank you very much. All right. So 30, 30 to the end, uh, 31 and 32, last two measures. It's literally all I've had to practice. So, I mean, you can go ahead and repeat it, repeat that if you want. But in my opinion, it's kind of a waste of time. All right. We'll do the numbers. Ready? Go. Letters. Ready? Go. Together, ready, go. All right, I'm gonna play the whole thing from you from the beginning one more time. Maybe I should play it down here. All right, I'll play it down here so you can kind of hear what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, but then if you did this at home, I'd, if I were you, I'd just move my entire chair over to the left. <laughs> okay, but I'm not gonna do that. All right. You can go slower than this. It's kind of a fast elephant. Uh, yeah, Gwendolyn, this is actually this is actually a classical piece. Um, this series that I'm working on right now, there's sheet music links, you can look at it. It has a little bit of every um, genre. I really like this series a lot because they have like a, um, they have books at every, every genre. So they actually have an entire book, if you just want, of classical tunes. And they have this at progressive levels, you know, like, um, what is it, like beginning all the way to advanced. What's good about this is because they make a lot of arrangements for classical tunes you might not get to play on piano. So it's something like spring. They have stuff like that. Anyway, uh, classical thanks, Louis. 
uh, is that it's fast paced and makes your wrists hurt. It, it doesn't make your wrist hurt. Anytime you have pain when you're playing classical music, it has nothing to do with classical music, you know. Um, not that I'm not trying to correct you or anything, but it, it's not it's not that it's classical music. It's because you don't have the technique to play it yet. So you have to have proper technique, you have to have a good teacher to show you all the, these fundamentals and stuff. But definitely should not be hurting. None like if you play music, period, you shouldn't be experiencing pain anywhere. It's not like sports, you know, you know what I mean? Alright. Alright, the uh, next one. Are you sleeping? This one's really short. Very cool. Yeah. Anyway, really good question or really good statement. Um, you know, anything I can help you with, glad to help. All right. Are you sleeping? Heh, <laughs> this is a really short one. So here's the beginning position. Now all the letters, you're gonna go and label these again. Um, all right, one on C, two on D, three on E, four on F. 5 on G, so go back and label all those, all right? Left hand, we just have two notes for 4 on G and 1 on C, okay? Now, if you look at right hand, we do move, right? So right hand, you're going to shift to the right, one key to the right. So 4 is going to be on G. And now, on ringing, you hear that? You're going to skip one key in between. So this is kind of like the position. So instead of just, you know, one finger on each key, the thumb, keep it here so there's one key in between if you can notice that so there we have four on g five on a three on f two on e one on c that's the only part you have to be careful of with this whole piece now this one is so short we're just going to go from beginning to the end all right and then you know the other part is measure three to four you're going to play both hands so that's the only other place to be careful about. Okay, first time, let's try it. Let's focus on the numbers. Ready, go. All right, we'll do the letters. Ready, go. Okay, now another good way to practice too, like anytime you have words, if you can learn the song and sing it and play it at the same time, it means I think it means you, you really know the piece really well or the song really well, okay? All right, last time let's try it together. Ready, go. one is called the snake dance we're about halfway done with this book by the way as I sip some more coffee yeah. sometimes I like it when my coffee cools down I mean, kind of weird in general I, I like to eat cold food sometimes too <laughs> I mean warm food and let it go cold anyway stay focused all right uh, by the way if you're enjoying this lesson so far if you're getting something out of it if this is a value to you go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps this channel a lot. It helps me out a lot as well. Thank you. All right, snake dance. You like coffee, cold pizza? Uh, it's awesome, man. I now consider you my best friend. Uh, what if you eat iced coffee and cold pizza at the same time? I don't even know if I would do that. All right, uh, from the beginning, let's see. All right, so we have one on C, two on D, three on E flat, four on G, five on, no, four on F, sorry about that, five on G. All right, left hand, it's just this chord. So we have five on C, not a chord, but just two, two keys, and a one on G. Now, if you look at measures nine to like 11, we have this going on. So those notes, will, um, first of all, measure nine, they want you to cross your second finger over to A flat, and then move it back quickly as possible. You see that? So I'm, the way to practice this, if you want to do this separately, two on 
A flat. As soon as you play the next key, one on G like that, you bring your second finger and you try to just touch F as soon as possible. Let me show you again. See that? And when you're able to do that good, you can just play it, you know, fluidly. Hope so. Okay. All right. Um, so that so that is two on A flat, one on um, G, two on F, three on E flat, four on D, five on C. Without piano, your mother would make you do a sport. Not that sports are bad, you know. I definitely prefer piano. <laughs> I grew up playing soccer though. Soccer was pretty awesome. All right. All right, let's go ahead and play this thing. All right, from the beginning, I'm going to, I don't know where I'm going to stop. Let me just play. Measure five. All right, here we go. Uh, numbers, ready, go. Letters, ready, go. Together, ready, go. And look at that, measures five to about measure eight. Go ahead and skip that, because it's the same thing. See, all right, now I'll pick up to measure nine. Stopping at 13. All right, let's do the numbers. Ready, go. All right, letters, ready, go. Together, ready, go. We're gonna skip that last part, all of, um, because it's the same thing as the beginning. Hear that? Okay. All right. Now the whole thing from the beginning. Here, purple people eater. <laughs> I like this song. All right. All right. I'm skipping the repeat. This is getting a little bit harder here, so you know, just some of these these books, it does get a little bit harder with um, the the more towards the end. Some of them do not. Some of them are kind of random. All right, so yeah, this one's gonna be a tough one uh, to kind of number. So from the beginning, we have one on D, two on D sharp, three on E, and then you're gonna move your second or your your thumb over to C. See that? So label it like so. And then the left hand, what do we have? We have one. Uh, I don't even know if we're playing all these right here. I'll just give you all of them. So one on B, two on A, three on G, four on F, five on E. So go ahead and label all those once you have the music, okay? Now, if you look at measure four, you're gonna take your second finger, and you're gonna keep it, actually. Now, also, you just keep it on D sharp, all right? Because measure four, you're playing D sharp. So you really have to practice this. Playing this and then moving your thumb at the same time and then keeping your second finger on D sharp. All right, moving on. We have some movement here. Um, where is it? Measure 9, 10, 11. Measure 11, you're going to move your thumb over to B. Okay, so one turns into B, right? B has thumb on it and then three is going to be on D now just for that part. And then 13, you just move it back. And that's basically it. The other tricky thing about this is definitely do not play it at the speed that I'm playing at because a lot of repeated notes, all right? This, this takes a long time to develop that type of um, technique. These are all different techniques, right? So repeated notes, make sure you take it nice and slow. It's, it's, more, it's more like your wrist than anything. It's not really a lot of finger when you do repeats. I'm just, it's like the best way to describe it is like you're dribbling a basketball, okay? Hope that makes sense. All right, from the beginning. Try it together. 
Uh, let's do numbers. Ready? Go. <laughs> Letters ready, go. Together, ready, go. All right. Chopin minute. Well, I mean, that, that's a tough piece. Gwendolyn, actually, so you know, take, give yourself time, be patient with it, all right? Uh, instead of saying it's not going well, I think if I were you, I'd say, ah, oh, it's, it's improving every day, all right? Focus on the positive, okay? Measure five to. Measure nine, okay? Uh, let me go back and see that. Okay, so let's do the numbers. Ready, go. Ready, go. Together, ready, go. All right, moving on. And then, of course, you can go back and put that all together from the beginning. All right, moving on, pick up to nine. I kind of played that whole entire last section, but you can split it up like so. You can go from measures nine to measure 13, then go from 13 to the end, okay? But I'm just gonna play this whole last section for you because this lesson's getting pretty long, to be honest. All right, let's go numbers, ready, go. Ready, go. Uh, I just thought of other pe food that's good cold. Um, Lebanese food is good cold. <laughs> All right, from the beginning, I'm going to play for you one time. here right hand here's a position right hand does not move so one on d two on e three on f sharp four on g five on a the left hand we start in this position so it could be two on a and one on b and i think that's about it so just these two fingers um now in measure 11 you're going to take your second finger and play a sharp so from here a sharp two on a sharp next one you move your finger back so 13 is this, 14 is this. Then the last two measures, you're gonna take your thumb, move it to A. And then you're gonna play one on A, two on G, three on F sharp. Okay, so that's it. The left, hand, the left hand part is the only part that moves, okay? All right, it's so from the beginning. Ah. What happened? Stopping at measure nine. Let's go back to the, to the numbers. Ready, go. Letter 
fingers, ready, go. Okay, together. So this is about half of the whole song. You can split it up into quarters if you want. Ready, go. to the end and you see how I, I'm getting this ready early so you know one concept to 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 be able to play more fluidly and smoothly is think like chess you want to think one or two three four five moves at a time you know, that's probably too much like you know like one or two moves at a time so if you can get to the next position as soon as possible you know being prepared for that that's one thing that people have a hard time with, you know, playing piano, okay? All right, nine to the end, let's do numbers. Ready, go. See, even that was late. Look how fast I get this part ready. Boom, see that? Not that I'm trying to distract you or anything. All right, letters, ready, go. Go ahead and play it together. Ready, go. All right, moving it back. Just do the whole song. songs we have left okay i think just a few more let me see if i can down my coffee i don't like downing coffee but you know oh, caffeine jolt all right next one some jazz music five foot two eyes blue First page, as far as I can tell, you just have like one, two, three, four notes to play in the right hand. So we have two on D. Then you're gonna move to the D sharp, but then you move it right back. Three on E, and then five on G. So go ahead and label all those. The left hand, we have two on B, three on A, four on G. That's the first page. That's really all there is. And then, um, gosh, what measure is that? All right, measure 16, we have, we do have um, A sharp, so you're gonna move that, okay? There's more movement going on the second page, but we'll get into that later. All right, so from the beginning, we're just gonna practice from the beginning to uh, scene. So it has anybody seen? And we stop on scene because, hey, guess what? It's a repeat, they have two different endings, and it's exactly the same each time when you're doing the first section. So whenever it's like that, when the endings are different, I practice the first section and then I practice each ending separately. Let me just show you if it makes any sense. All right, so from the beginning, uh, here we go. And I just stop right there. All right, let's go back. Uh, numbers, ready, go. Go. Together, go. 
Kind of moving fast here. This entire book that I'm um, teaching right now, it's late beginner. Uh, in the Faber Studio collection, they call this playtime, which is level one, okay? All right, um, all right, so here's the first ending. Goes all the way to the beginning, all right, numbers, ready, go. Letters, ready, go. Okay, now the second ending, I'm not gonna go through all that, it's just three notes. Okay, together, ready, go. All right, and then you go back and you just play the whole entire, you know, first page. And eventually it'll, even if you can't do it fluidly, it will smooth itself out later. All right, moving on. You're gonna move your, your hand to here. So third finger on um, F sharp, okay? So third finger on F sharp. So this position, all right? Okay, so figure out the numbers. So one, I give you the those notes. Go ahead and label all those. And then at measure 25, you're gonna bring it back. So for this next section, all the way to 25, we're gonna be in this position in the right hand, okay? Um, let me go back, where am I? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's do the numbers, ready, go. Okay, letters, ready, go. Together, ready, go. Okay, uh, now to the end. That's all the same, so just practice the last two measures. See it again. Okay, let's try it together. Ready, go. And that's it. Okay, we'll play the whole thing for you from the beginning one last time. This is the last song in the entire book. All right, here we go. Do, re, mi from the Sound of Music. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Now, interesting about this, do, a uh, deer, a female deer, re, a job of golden sun, me, a name I call myself, fa, long, long way to run, so, a needle pulling thread, t, a note, to, um, 
La note to fall. So T, a drink with jam and bread, right? So you see, it's going up one key at a time, okay? Now, let me give you the first four measures, the notes. We have C, D, and E, and then one on C, two on D, three on E. Now, if you go to measure five, we're gonna move your hand to the right, one key. One on D, two on E, three on F. So these are gonna kinda change. Now, measure nine, one on E, two on F, three on G. So go ahead and label those. And the same thing with um, measure 13, you're gonna move all the way to F now. One on F, two on G, three on A. So kind of like that. Now measure 17, you're gonna move it back to middle C position, okay? Now, let me show you a really easy way to practice this, this whole entire section. So you get used to moving up and up without even having to think about it. Just practice this pattern. That's it. And another way you can practice this. Got it? That's all you have to do. There are a lot of different ways too. I'm not gonna go into all of them. You can do rhythm. That's two, right? That's two, right? A lot of different ways to practice that. But that's what I would suggest practicing. It's like a shortcut for the movement. So you, you know, you, you get really fluent at that. Okay? All right, left hand. That's it, no, and a left hand so far. So we have four on G. Two on B, one on C. Okay, so that's what we got going on for this first section. Uh, the last section, there's more movement too. I'll go over that when we get there. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna play this whole part for you. But you can go back and practice section by section if you like. Sound of music, yeah. This is a really good one. Uh, Ernest and Hammerstein, they make really good music. I like it a lot. Yeah, you've got good taste, Gwendolyn. All right, uh, let's go back and do the numbers. Ready, go. Also, you could practice the, the moving like this, like measure 16 to 17, three on A, five on G, right? Just practice doing this as fluidly, fluently, fluidly as possible, okay? That way you just practice that, that motion. Okay, uh, let's go back and do the letters. Ready, go. play it together. Ready, go. All right, now 17 and to the rest of the rest of this song, let me show you what's going on here. So we'll go all the way up to that. So here's the pattern, it's just this. Right, so it's one. So just getting your second finger ready to play that. And then you just do this, you just shift over one. It's just, it's just this pattern, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. Uh, is there another one? No, that's it. All right, that's it. So right hand, I would just practice this. Okay, so what do you notice also? All white keys, then you're gonna add uh, F sharp on the third finger. Then the next one, two sharps, F sharp and G sharp. Got it? This is, this, so these are some patterns to practice. Got it? And the left hand is basically just doing this. <laughs> Got it? Now, when you get that good, here is the entire pattern. The entire, you know, the actual music. Uh, I'm close, this is not good, like I don't, I'm not telling you to close your finger and do a, uh, you know, like a pointer finger like this, but I'm doing this so my fingers don't cover the key so you can see. Usually we'll just do it like this. Because you want your hand nice and relaxed, but I'm going to point like so. So 
that's what the practice. Now, some tips to help you. So, so a needle pulling thread, thread. Look at that. The pinky is going to move over and play that same key on thread. Then keep on going. So, a la, a not to follow. So, so guess what? The finger you end up on, you're going to start with the next part. T, a drink with jam and bread. Got it? Okay. Let me show you that again. And just keep your finger here, your hand. Because a lot of times, what do I see my students do? <laughs> they keep moving it back. It's just an instinct thing. That's the bad thing about practicing, like, you know, late beginner, beginning, intermediate, whatever. Like, you know, we, we have to practice in these different motions, the different positions. We get fixed into certain positions. It's hard to move around, all right? So just keep your hand kind of floating in this area. It's kind of, it's going to feel weird. It's going to feel unnatural because, you know, fixed positions all right here we go let's try it together ready go and then get your left hand ready as soon as possible see i'm already to the next part so you want to think ahead see all right now from here we have five on b four on uh, b flat then three on a one on f uh, four on b two on uh, G and then we have two endings here. We're gonna separate that. Okay, so we're just gonna go from Measures 25 to those those endings. All right, not 25 on uh, 28 That's all we're gonna practice And then like I said before we're going to practice those two endings separately. So let's do numbers ready go This is kind of awkward this is something to practice by itself as well. Isolate it. Ready, numbers, ready, go. Letters, ready, go. Okay, together, ready, go. All right. Now, the last, uh, first ending, when you take it back to the beginning, we have this. So we're in this position here. Just five on C, two on G. You're gonna have to move. So second finger to E, then to D. So here's how to practice this. You just move. This is what I call uh, moving fast, playing slow. So we're here, right? We did this. We're gonna play two on G. Then from here, you move to E as fast as possible, like this. Then once you touch it, you play it. As soon as you play it, you move again. See that? So you play. You play, you get ready to play slowly, you move fast in between. By the way, a little advanced tip, you guys totally aren't there yet if this is your level, but that's how we practice leaps too. Until it becomes like, you know, mus uh, muscle memory where you don't have to think about it. So that's kind of the key to doing those. Anyway, uh, la 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 la. Okay, so that's how to practice that part. Okay, and those staccatos help. Don't hold them too long because that's too much to, to, you know, you're gonna hold it so long you can't move. All right, so get those staccatos. All right, so the second ending, this is really not much going on, it's just this. Okay, so first ending was this. The last ending is just, just C and C. So that's it. I don't even know if you have to practice that as long as you know these two keys. All right. Anyways, that's it. All right. Let me play the whole thing for you from the beginning. I'm going to wrap up this lesson today. All right. Here we go. Duh. Sound of music. So, you know, 
go back and watch this lesson as many times as you want, totally free on the web, you know. Uh, but it, it's about understanding these basic principles, the, 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 the strategies that I use for this, because I, it's the same strategy for every level of music, every piece of music, every song that I ever work on that, you know, my students ever learn, okay? So once the cool thing is once you get this process down, you know, once this lesson makes sense for you, you can just go ahead and watch my video tutorials and just skip to the songs that are giving you some trouble or that you want to practice more, okay? Uh, so yeah, the, the tutorials and sheet music, again, in the cards and also in the video description below, okay? All right, um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions or you know future requests as well, I do those as well. So uh, make sure to hit me up. Leave a, leave a comment you know, if, if you want to get in touch with me. All right, anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time. Have an excellent weekend. Some really beautiful weather. Go out there and play. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Happy practicing.